guys. I'll be right back. Thanks, Barry. Thanks for helping me out again. That's all right, Chuck. That's what psychics are for. But wherever I am, whatever I'm doing, all you got to do is ask, Chuck. <laughs> Sure thing, Chucky Poo, old pal. Any old time, old buddy. Yeah, very weary, you geek. <laughs> what a dork. <laughs> Why don't you just leave him alone? All right, Klaus, settle down. That's enough. <coughs> Let it happen, Barry. Relax. You don't have to fight it. Past on Friday, Chuck. Oh, Hey, Barry. Do you want me to wait after? I can. Uh, no, no, not tonight, Lauren. My dad's coming. Okay. Yeah. Bye, Lauren. Bye. Where were you this time? Uh, Japan, I think. Uh huh. You were supposed to be in my history class. Yeah, I know. I, uh, I don't know why it happens. Barry, you've got to understand. There's a time and a place for dreams. It's not in the classroom. Yeah. Yeah, I know. When your dad comes to pick you up, he and I need to have a talk. Again. I've had talks with him about the daydreams. He's, uh, he's just never been a, a physical kid. And there's nothing wrong with that. Einstein, uh, Gandhi, Gershwin, there's nothing wrong with these people. My son has asthma. He, he's made up this world where he can uh, be the star athlete, the quarterback, he can be... Uh... Chuck Norris? Yeah. He says they're sidekicks, that they, they uh, do things together. I don't know. Have you ever tried? What? Being his sidekick. <laughs> I don't think I'd have a chance against Chuck. 
I put in a lot of hours at work. Barry's alone too much with his videos, his karate games. Uh... We all put in extra hours, Mr. Kabruski. That's not what I asked you. Am I close with my son? Yeah. We went through some hard times, and uh, that should have brought us closer, but... Uh... You have to help him change his priorities. Maybe yours, too. Barry. Barry, come on. Get a grip. Huh? What's the matter with you? Oh. Oh, nothing. <laughs> Space case. Come on, let's go. It's late. Yeah, let's right. go. Come on. Bye, Barry. See you tomorrow. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thanks for your time. And did you forget something? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Let's go. You see this master stone, I'll sign you up for karate. What? Hmm? Nothing. Nothing. What? Snap at the top. Come on, come on. Two. Crack it. Three. I'm just going to tell him right here. One. Switch me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, excuse me. One. Snap at the top. Snap it. Hey, you. Me? Yeah, you. We don't wear shoes on the mat here, mister. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Double knots. Socks, too? <laughs> Inside Crescent Kicks. Right? Hey, hey, hey! One, don't touch that. Two, so you want to learn karate, huh? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? You mean yes, sir. Don't you, Sonny? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, yes, sir. Now, your uh, father here tells me all you think about is this uh, art, this craft that has taken me years, years to master. <laughs> hey, could you wheeze a little quieter, kid? I'm trying to talk here. Excuse me, Mr. Stone. My son has a, a, a condition. Uh... Uh, you must be pretty good to uh, win all this stuff. Well, I don't like to brag or anything. Maybe. Yeah, I bet you're almost as good as uh, Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris? Chuck Norris? He doesn't compete anymore, kid. And one of the reasons, one of the main reasons he doesn't is me. <laughs> okay, let's, uh... Yeah. He doesn't compete because I would kick his ass. Let's go, son. Come yeah. on. Kick his ass! Got you the first time. Find another place. I mean, this isn't all there is. You know, kid, that's the first smart thing you've said all day. This isn't all there is. It's just the best there is. You know, karate is a sport of discipline and restraint and style. One that builds respect. You believe in the Easter Bunny, too, kid? Chuck Norris. Bring the gunpowder! Ah! Now I teach you lesson. Help! All right, shut up. I blow you up now. Please. Oh. Ah. Oh. Help! Help! 
Sleep, were you watching that thing? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was. <sighs> kind of. Uh, Dad. What? Did you ever uh, be become involved with something? Uh, I... It's late. You gotta get your eight hours. What? What? Forget it. What? <sighs> Miss Chen. <laughs> Miss Chen. Well, well, long time no see. <laughs> What's El Russo Supremo? Uh, you know, the, the, the last time we spoke, your uncle was coming to town. Did he uh, ever get here? Yes, today. Please, Eugene, I'm late. Well, well, does he need a job? If I may say so, I'm not without influence in this town. I'm a sponsor, Mr. Mapes. He has a job. He's going to be working in my family's restaurant. Oh, but that's so stereotypical. I mean, it's like working in a laundry. Uh -huh. Believe it or not, we've done that, too. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for my date. Oh, a date? Oh, my jealousy rears its ugly green head. Who's the uh, lucky fellow? An appointment date, Eugene, one of my students. Oh, trouble with one of the urchins. Well, perhaps I can be of assistance. Barry Grabuski. Oh, oh, but he's... Uh... He's what? Uh, well, he, he's uh, slow and, and uh, impaired. Hopeless, hopeless. The kid is hopeless. He's a dreamer, Mr. Mapes. And historically, dreamers have a pretty good track record. May I ask, was all that about? Oh, I, uh, I was uh, wor working on a Charlie horse. Yeah, I was uh, just working it out. Uh-huh. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Now, there's someone I want you and your dad to meet. If he likes you, maybe he'll be the one to teach you martial arts. <laughs> Nobody likes me. Why would he? Well... I don't know. Maybe because he's a little bit like you. May I help you? You can help everybody in this place. Tell that chunk to douse that cigar. This is a public area. He's not supposed to be smoking that in here. Yes, of course you're right. Since we're all so similar, though, would you mind telling me which particular chunk you're referring to? The keys are in front of you, Charlie. Excuse me. 
Sign says no. What do you need on with? Come on, come on. Need on more second. Oh, don't you, don't you. Uh, Belling off. Oh, don't you, don't you, don't you. Good. Where, uh, where is it? By the way, my name is not Charlie. Huh? Hmm. Smoke. Smoking. I'm smoking? I'm smoking? I'm smoking! Get this thing off me! It's how we teach children to use chopsticks. Huh. Okay. I get the point. Yeah. See, if they had points on them, you could just stab it. <laughs> it's not happening. I want to impress your uncle. Did you notice my uncle stopped using his halfway through the meal? He did? <laughs> he really likes you. He's very impressed with your work with computers. Are you almost finished with your program? How did you know? Your son. Well, He's told me a lot about you. He hasn't told me much about you. What about you? Well, my father built this restaurant. He came here first. Eight years later, he sent for my mother. So you grew up around here? Yes. They worked here together. Then my father died. My mother ran the place herself for a while. But then two years ago, he sent for her again. Now it's all I have left of them. And your uncle? Dear uncle, a poet and a charmer, teacher and philosopher. <sighs> <sighs> Uh, that is the ninth time. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I wasn't ready. That is the entire point of this exercise. You must always be ready. And you, you want to be martial artist. And what would be your fighting name? Hmm, Barry the Leopard. No, 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 not quite right. Uh, Barry the tiger who fights with courage and relies on instinct. No, that won't do. I have it. I've got it. What? What is it? Mr. Dumpling. Mr. Dumpling who fights in a most deceptive manner by smashing the fists of his opponents with his own face. Uh, Mr. Lee, uh... Mr. Dumpling never attacks because he does not survive to attack because he is never ready. Okay, I get the point, Mr. Lee. All right, then. It's very simple. I will help you learn what you want to know. But once you stop wanting to learn, I will stop teaching. Well, Mr. Lee, I don't want to stop learning. Oh, never interrupt your teacher. This, for example, is a thief. You cannot compromise with a thief unless you wish to give something of yourself away. Does that appear confusing? Yes. Good. Life is very confusing. And that is your first lesson. I married the first girl I took out. How long has she been gone? She passed away almost 10 years ago. You sure Barry's going to be OK with your uncle? Well, my uncle will behave himself. If he doesn't, I'll break his arm. <laughs> More tea. <laughs> How far is your school from your house? About, uh, five, ten minutes. Not how long, how far? Oh, two miles. And how do you get there? My dad, he drops me off in the morning, picks me up in the afternoon, or I get a ride. From now on, you will walk to school, that is, until next week. 
Then you will run. We will see if that is a thief or a crutch. Psychopathy. Yes. There's a problem out here. Where's that little gal, Grub? Grub, that is the name, ain't it? The Bruce. It's a funny name. It is a funny name. <laughs> it grows better, ain't it, boys? What's your What's your name? Hank. Sure, Henry. Oh, yeah. I I had an uncle named Henry one time. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think I knew him. Let me deal with that. What are you doing? Preparing. We're gonna do something really special for you. We're gonna remodel this place. <laughs> yeah, boss. Yeah. We're gonna take that wall over here and put it over here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this wall, put it back over here. <laughs> And there's a kitchen. Turn me all the way in the front. That's right. <laughs> First thing we do is we're gonna start right here. Oh, <laughs> you Look at this guy. Fung hei fat toy. Whoa, that boy's drunk. That's drunk as Jasmine. Oh, the wang tang wa. These gentlemen only saw what I appear to be. Lesson number two, believe what is, not what you think. Remember, tomorrow you walk this road, huh? <sighs> The kid moved down the street. Alert. Constant vigilance. Eternal suspicion. Like Chuck in the jungle. Beware the enemy. Could evade capture, or worse, this time. But the bad guys are still out there, somewhere. Yeah, hi, Lauren. What's wrong? Where's your dad? Oh, I thought I'd, uh, <laughs> I'd, uh, walk today. 
Oh. Yeah. Gee, that's good exercise. Yeah. Well, you'd better hurry, because class starts in 10 minutes. OK. No, that's okay. I want to get my heart rate up a little higher. Uh, okay. Bye. Let's go. Now, we've read several of the Bard's important plays, and these wondrous words should stay with you from now through the end of your day. <laughs> oh, man. Mr. Cellini. Yeah? Yes. Is the proper response, Mr. Cellini. OK. <laughs> Perhaps, Mr. Cellini, we should test your retention skills. From whence does this quote come? To thine own self be true. Polonius, Mr. Mapes, from Hamlet. That is correct, Lauren. Let's try again, Mr. Cellini, shall we? Alas. Poor Yorick. I knew him. Well? Uh, it's from the Bible, isn't it? <laughs> A book with which I'm sure you are thoroughly familiar. <laughs> no, Mr. Cellini, it's not the Bible. <sighs> yes, Mr. Gabrowski, what is it? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, Hamlet. Be still, my heart. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Be careful, Mr. Cellini. Your competition for class dumbbell is rapidly diminishing. <laughs> now. You gotta watch where you're going, creep. Accidents happen when you don't pay attention. <laughs> Let me up. Well, if I let you up, then you might hurt me. <laughs> and I don't want you to hurt me. What's lucky for you, Master Stone didn't take you on. Because I'm in that class, and I'd be doing this to you every day. <laughs> oh, look at this. So where's your friend Chucky now, retard? <laughs> oh, by the way, Lauren doesn't like you. She pities you. <laughs> Doing good. All right, let's start again. All right, relax. Without bend your knees, breathe in. Move it, Lord, ass, move it! 34! Hup! 35! Hup! 36! Hup! 37! Hup! 38! Hup! 39! Hup! 40! Hup! Had enough? 41! That's a long wolf.
Well, well, well. If it isn't the two big, bad wolves. Why do you have? Milk. Bartender, make mine milk, too. Sure, Ranger. Hey, you! Give me a drink! <laughs> hey, better yet, give me a kiss! <laughs> Let go of me! Let go of me! Leave her alone. <sighs> Watch it, Barry. Ah! Ah. Wake up! This is gym class, sonny boy, not nap time. How dare you fall asleep in my class? Get up, boy! Ah. Sorry, Mr. Horn. Oh, I bet you are. But not as sorry as you're gonna be. I've been thinking, son. It's been a while <laughs> since your last physical evaluation. There you are. <laughs> Start climbing. Let's oh, go, Barry Weary. Get up that rope. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Gabruski. What are you, a man or Marvin Milton? Keep going. Don't even think about quitting. <laughs> you can do it, Barry. <laughs> Barry. Hey, Barry. I'll race you to the top. I, uh, I can't. Sure you can. Just wrap your leg around the rope and hold it with your foot. I, yeah, I can't. Barry, I hate that word. Who was he talking to? Hey, you up there! You're not off again! Get going! Don't listen to them. Listen to me. Wrap your leg around the rope. That's it. Now hold it with your foot. Okay. Now all the weight's in your legs. Relax your arms a little bit, see? Weight's in your legs. There you go. All right, now pull. That's it. Use your legs. That's it. Good. There you yeah. go. Pull. Yeah. Come on, Barry. You can do it. Pull, Barry. Yeah, you did great, Barry. It's all yours, Barry. All the way to the top. Well, I'll be. Let's go! 
sure mean today. I think you ought to tell your daddy. My daddy? Oh, uh, no, I don't think he'd be too much help. Why not? My daddy'd rope him, shoot him, stuff him, and mount him. What? At least that's what he always says. Oh, that's because he's a Texan. My dad's a computer programmer from Pittsburgh. Make him mad, he just punches the keyboard harder. <laughs> Listen, this is where I get off. Oh, um, Lauren, um, I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, you know, I really like you. I like you too, Barry. Okay, great. Uh, well, if I like you and uh, you like me, why don't we, uh, go out? Go out? Yeah. Barry, I like you, but just not like that. What? I worry about you. The others are so mean. It makes me feel so... Sorry for me. No. Yeah, Cellini was right. You pity me. I do not. I don't. <laughs> I get it, okay? Barry, <laughs> please! as long as you can, Barry. You can do it. Just hang on. Filthy spine. Come on, Barry Wary. Make it easy on yourself. Oh, Chuck. Chuck. I can't breathe. What, you hear a trap? You sound like a bagpipe and you do it anyway! Hang on, Barry. We'll get out of this. Not! Just squeeze his lot out! <laughs> Hang on, Barry. I can't. Hang on, Barry. Barry. Hang on, son. been getting his uh, allergy shots on a regular basis. Yes. Has he been under any extraordinary stress lately at home or at school? I don't think so. He uh, walked to school feeling fine this morning. He seemed to be OK. He's going to be all right? He'll be fine. And, and it's probably not a bad idea he does these things. You know, basically, his lungs are OK. I looked at the x-rays. There's very little scarring, if any. Good. Frankly, I'm surprised at this attack. What, with the humidity and all down Jerry. here? He's... Marie, oh, thanks for coming. Where is Barry? Lee. Is he all right? Uh, yes. Which room is he in? 215. I'm glad you yeah, called. The doctor said his x-rays are looking good. Oh, Noreen, this is Dr. Millard. Uh, Miss Chen is one of Barry's teachers. Hi, nice to meet you.
Mr. Lee. Yes. I have something for you. I will take this off. <clears throat> Only for a few minutes. This will help you. Awful. Yes, that's how I know when it's ready. It is an old remedy with some of my secret ingredients. Breathe in the fumes. Deeply. Good. Now rest. Is it? You must breathe. The heat will not burn you. It will help. Relax. You were perhaps overzealous. You tried to reach too far. Too fast. We will try again. But slower. Now I believe you want to learn. Good night, Mr. Dumpling. Start with a few simple movements. Okay. Roll block, high block, punch, kick, high block, punch. Inhale four steps. Exhale four steps. Inhale four steps. Come on, Barry. The object is not to hurt somebody else. It is to stop them from hurting you. You must respect the wood. It lives on its own. It has its own spirit. Barry, Barry! Yeah, I know. I'm up there. I'm ready. All right. took me for six bucks on gin rummy. I'm watching you like a hawk. That will help with the breathing. Now drink. Oh, God, gee, that's awful. Foolish boy. You think magic should win taste test? Then nobody drink Pepsi Cola. Hey, Pepsi has nothing to worry about. Uh, you go home now. 
You give me a headache, and besides, you have no more money to win. Here, take this four times a day, twice on Sunday. Okay. All right, goodbye, Mr. Chan. Don't play cards with this guy, okay? Oh, I already learned that. Say hi to your dad for me. All right. <laughs> Magic potion. What's in this? Don't worry, it won't kill him. Imagine my relief. What are you doing here? Get your butt up there on the benches with the rest of the babies. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, Mr. Horn. I'm, I'm gonna take the class today. Like hell you will, boy. You end up in the hospital again. My tail end up in the ringer for sure. Yeah, but but I, I, I had nah, to... no butts except yours, parked up there. Now get moving. Get very wary before you get hurt. Cholini, I don't remember asking for your opinion. Twenty laps. All right, now it's time to meet my good friend, Mr. Pusha. It's the dead. Gabruski, hey, what are you doing? I told you to get up there with the rest of the babies. I haven't gone all day. We got work to do. And I can do it. Look, I'll sign a release or something, OK? You'll do that, boy. Okay, everybody, Mr. Pusher. Uh, All right, let us go. 25 to warm you up. One. Gabruski, you drop dead on me, and I swear to God, I'll shoot myself and come on after you. Five, see. Barry, I have something for you. You will work with these an hour each day. If you make a mistake, they will sting you. But I will help you make them sing. They look deadly. It is true, they are weapons. But you must realize that the greatest weapon you ever possess is self-control. Using your head, Barry. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's like a, a, a ballet. Takes a long time to learn. Much discipline. Yeah. Come, Barry. Time to run. run. <laughs> Work him hard, Lee. Yes, sir. See you later. Bye-bye. I wish I could do what you do, but... Uh... Sure you can. <laughs> I couldn't. Come on. What? Come no, on. No, 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 no. 
What? Feet together. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna hurt myself here. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got that. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. You move so graceful. It's more important to be graceful. Here. Heads up. 10 out of 12. Not bad. <sighs> Mr. Lee? Mm hmm Do you ever, uh, dream? Oh, yes. Uh, not, not, uh, just at night. Oh, you mean dreaming when you're awake? I mean, um, it's kind of like I'm off someplace or we're having an adventure with... With him? Yeah. Dreams are good. Even when you're <laughs> walking down a hallway or sitting in a classroom. I like him and all that, but, uh, I mean, is it normal for that to happen? You must learn to control them. When you learn to control them, you will have fewer dreams then. But they will be richer ones. Is that the way it's supposed to be? The dream world is where the child lives. Growing older would not mean growing wiser if that world did not exist. How did you learn so much? Television. <sighs> Always expect the unexpected. Okay. Stop! You're kicking much harder. Now I'm ready. Yours, Fellini. <laughs> Barry, Barry. We always seem to meet this way. By the way, what'd you say to me? I said it's not gonna be so easy this time. <laughs> what do you think, you're bad? I'll just knock it off, Cellini, okay? What are you gonna do now? You want to learn karate, huh? You're about to get your first lesson for free. I'm out of here, okay? Yeah. Hey, Barry. Oh. Oh. Charlie, 
Haney! Are you nuts? You could kill him. Well, hey, Mr. Warren, he started it. If that's true, kid, you got less brains than a woodpecker on an aluminum telephone pole. Now you two break it up and hit the showers. All right, show's over. Come on, you kids, break it up. It's not over by a long shot. Barry! Not bad, kid. Not bad at all. <laughs> I can't believe that was you. Yeah, well, <laughs> you're not the only one. Such a creep and a bully. Yeah, he's just an all-around kind of guy. Barry, what are you doing this weekend? Um, I'm going to the zoo. Can I come with you? Go, go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sh sure. I'd like that. Great. I'll see you in English, okay? Okay. As always, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> what about him? Isn't that Spike? I don't know.
You missed me. Watch, watch, watch it there. Look at you get, get, get that. What's going on here? Get them both to me now. Get them, get them, get them. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them higher, higher. Get them. What's going on? Where's Noreen? Hey, this is my dream. <laughs> my hero. Oh. Tough guy, you want a real shot at me? Well, there's your chance. If you're not too chicken. Karate tournament? That's right. It's a fair contest. A uh, fair? That'll be the day. You know, Lauren, I used to think you were smart. I mean, I don't know why you hang around this bozo when you could have someone like me. Don't make me ill. All right, class. Today we've <laughs> all been waiting for it finally here. The English Romantic Poets. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to start. we we'll start with Percy Biss Shelley. We have decided we will join you in this team competition. I should feel happy. But I'm not. Natural reaction. Natural doubt. I'm not ready. True. <laughs> Look at the tortoise, Barry. The tortoise is very clumsy and not musical at all. But it has been said, and I believe it, when all things are right, when a dream becomes true, when the impossible is accomplished and lies behind you, on that day, the tortoise will dance. Tortoises can't dance. Ah, you only think they can. If you believe they can, they will. Barry, come take a look at this. I rest my case. <laughs> Wait for me. What? <laughs> Oh, my 
my goodness, you're doubling your bet? Oh, what am I going to do if I lose? I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to treat you to a dinner at my restaurant. <laughs> Frying... Frying dragon. This one? Okay. Oh, thank you very much. Now it's your turn. This one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Texas Open Team Karate Championship. But before this nationally sanctioned meet, you will enjoy demonstrations by some of the most renowned martial artists in the country. There's going to be plenty of action here today. All right. Great. One. Will all competitors please make sure to register? Listen, there's no sense all of us standing here. Why don't you go ahead and watch some of the demonstrations? Yeah, OK, great. Thanks. Up here, Elsa? All right. Thank you. Morning. Application, please. Great. Next up, weapons form demonstrations. And who's your fourth? Oh, we don't have one. We wanted to compete as a three-person team. Uh, no. It's a team competition, and you have to have a complete team, which is four people. So you just have to find another team member. Thanks so much. Step this on. Application, please. Morning. Thank you very much. This competition has drawn the karate world's best and brightest for what should be an afternoon of unexcelled excitement. Here's Andrew Ashby demonstrating sword techniques. Top flight competitors all, including last year's champion team, Stone Dojo, and second place contender, The Kick Connection. Oh, Barry's going to be so disappointed. There's Chuck Norris. I have an idea for fourth. Come on. Oh. And he grabbed him by the leg and ripped his pants completely off. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 what a surprise. Chuck Norris. Too bad you're not still fighting. I'd love to kick your ass. Only in your dreams, Stone. Yeah, I'd be your worst nightmare, Chuck. That guy hasn't changed, has he? Are you crazy, Uncle? He's a star. He's not going to join our team. He's the boy's hero. Ask him. Excuse, please. Judge coming through. I just had the original training table. Yeah. <laughs> you never left it. There he is. Ask him. Ask well. Yep. After a week of all that hard eating, it's... I think the International is one of the toughest tournaments we fought in. I know. Oh, the yeah. most black belts I've ever seen. Yeah, we had a great fight. Excuse me. <laughs> Hi. Could I talk to you for a minute, please, Mr. Norris? Yeah, sure. Just a second, guys. Can I help you? I'm Noreen Chen. Oh, hi, Noreen. Hi, I'm Chuck Norris. Yeah. And you're, uh... Yeah, oh, me. Oh, I'm, I'm uh, Barry. <laughs> Hi, Barry. Nice to meet you. You competing? Uh, yeah. You nervous? Oh, gosh, yes. I've never been so nervous in my life. <laughs> well, being nervous is good. It loosens you up. Tell you what. Why don't you and I go win this thing, huh? What do you mean? I mean, you needed a fourth team member, and now you've got one. Besides, there's a fighter here who needs a lesson in humility.
We'll be back with the first of the competitions, the ladies kata, after a brief intermission. This is a little joke here. What? Oh, come on, Chuck Norris. The Chuck Norris. You got a problem with that, son? No. And the name of your team? Happy? Oh, I still can't believe that somebody pinched me. <laughs> Ow, Mr. Lee, that's only an expression. And why say it? I go home now. What do you mean? I got a restaurant to run. I'll be back in time. Be back by 2 o'clock. Will all competitors for the women's kata please report to the judges' stand? Representing the Prime Dragon Dojo. Call the restaurant. He wasn't there. Randy Cellini, last year's winner, looking to better his record with an eight brick break. Stone Dojo. Uh, we have one more contestant left. Lee Chan from the fry, Flying, no, Flying Dragon. Would Mr. Lee Chan enter the ring, please? Mr. Lee Chan. Excuse, please, coming through. Excuse. Hey, he's here, he's here. All right, come on. Hey, check this out. Here's a guy gonna break bricks for a labor. Hey, you're not wearing a karate gi. Don't need karate gi for brick breaking. <laughs> <sighs> Is it red or white wine with bricks? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he's asking for another brick. Hey, 
That brings the Prime Dragon within two points of the Champion Stone Dojo. I feel like I, I, I've known you a long time. Well, it's Chuck, and it's nice meeting you. I want to let you know how much I appreciate you helping my boy joining the team. Oh, hi. Well, I gotta get ready. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too.
know, Norris, I've always wanted to see how good you really are. You're only gonna see it once, Stone. Yeah. <laughs> for the Brian Ragged and Kelly So representing his dojo. It seems we now have a tie. The Stone Dojo and the Frying Dragon have both amassed 36 points. There will be a tiebreaker. Please stand by for an announcement. Frying Dragon calls heads. Heads it is. The Frying Dragon team chooses the participant. It will be Barry. Me? Oh, wait, wait, why me? You can do it. You won the weapons. They don't have anyone who can touch you. You're the one with something to prove. You've already proven yourself, son. Just do what you think is right. The tiebreaker will be between Barry Grabruski and Randy Cellini. And the event will be breaking. We choose breaking. You know how to do this stuff, Barry? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, kind of. I've done it once. You can do it again. We're with you, Barry. Barry, Barry, why don't you just quit now to avoid the embarrassment? Breaking first for the Stone Team, Randy Cellini. Yeah! 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 Beat 
Eat that, puke face! You! Uh, yeah! Yeah! We'll be fine. And here's Barry Gabruski. They're adding a seventh. He has to break seventh for his team to stay in this. Things. You're using your hand too much. Your arm not enough. It's like hammer. Head is hand. Handle is arm. I'm gonna end this right now. Mr. Julian is asking for another brick. He's going for a record breaking nine bricks. Ready. Berry wary, I'm gonna go get a great big victory kiss from Lauren. You're not gonna touch her! <laughs> will help you. to say I've always wanted to meet you well it's been my pleasure 
It's, um, been kind of like a dream coming true. Dreams do come true, Barry. If you want them bad enough. There he is. There's my dad. Thank you.